I'm going to prove that Randy's brain on meditation is the reason that James Aspie invested his entire life savings into cryptocurrency to save the animals. It's the reason that I came to Panama, never having met Randy, and it proves the power of the mind, which is crazy. Randy, you win. You win, buddy. Kudos to you. Fucking Randy. Randy wins. Randy, you won. <laughs> I consider myself a grounded, logical person, but I was duped by a guy named Randy who got me out to Panama to work on his energy web video. The very first night I got into Panama, I was sleeping. I was tired from the plane ride and Randy got me up at like five in the morning. It might have even been earlier. And he was like, he asked he asked me a question about something I don't even know what it was but he was being so loud and then he was like the sun's coming up I don't know what time the sun comes up in Panama but it felt like it was way too early for this to happen and he was like it's so pink it's so pink and then he said we're gonna do a guided meditation you have to be here for the guided meditation and I was like standing my ground because I was like I just got here let me just sleep I've been on a plane, I don't even know you. I actually am repulsed. I think I just fell for his cats. I fell for his cats. This is so embarrassing. But I'm trying to keep my shit together and I'm gonna just keep sleeping. So I kept sleeping and then about like 10 minutes into the meditation that I knew they were doing on his patio, I got up and I, I was like, I'm gonna participate. Even though I'm not a morning person, I'm gonna participate. And this is the meditation that I heard. I want you to stop and take a look at your life and take a look at yourself and realize that you're God's highest form of creation. To a man's chief delusion is his conviction that there are causes other than his own state of consciousness. All that befalls a person, all that is done by him, all that comes from him happens as a result of his state of consciousness. As you get involved in this meditation, your mind is going to go to beautiful places and understand anything you can see on the screen of your mind. You can manifest in your material world. If you can hold it in your head, you can hold it in your hand. Visualize this beautiful lavender energy flowing right in through the crown of your head. You are living in the creative world, in the world of your imagination, where all creation begins. Your entire body now is clear, clean, relaxed, calm, in perfect harmony with the law of vibration. You can feel your consciousness shift and a feeling of abundance is filling your consciousness. You feel a love for friends and loved ones and relatives. There's a feeling of love that's almost overwhelming. It's just filling your consciousness. And you feel an abundance of health. Every molecule of your being is becoming stronger, more alive more in tune with the universe of which you are a very important part, a unique expression of a creative power. What did James Aspie do with the donations? What donations am I even talking about? The other day, I put up a post selling my van. I said, guys, I'm selling my van. I urgently need money. I said, if you've ever thought about donating to me, now would be the time. A lot of people were like, who didn't donate, I'm sure. Where are the donation money going, James? When are you gonna tell us? Blah, 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 blah. Guys, I never said I would, but I will. I tell you in about one to three weeks, when I can, when I have more information, when I'm able to articulate what's going on a little bit better. 
The money was to invest so that I can be more rich and then invest a lot of money in the animal rights movement, in campaigns, in sanctuaries, etc. That's what I will do when I get rich. I have this opportunity. I'm like, I need to take this big time. I invest every dollar, I sell my van, and then I'm like, if anyone wants to donate, help me out here, if you want. Because I, I have a big investment opportunity, I think it's gonna blow up. So that's it, that's what it's for. Boom, there you go, now you all know. It's not a big secret. I just wasn't ready to tell you yet because I needed more information. I'm gonna go into a lot of detail about what the investment opportunity is next. I think a lot of you will be very interested in it and it's a very good thing for the world, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't donate literally my life savings into this and sell my van and say, hey, donations would really help me out right now. Everybody who thinks I'm just blowing my cash, no, I'm not. I'm trying to invest so that I can make a lot of money so that I can help the animal rights movement, which is what I've been trying to do, help the animal rights movement every day for over seven years since I first learned about the animal rights movement. I don't know what else I can do to prove it to you, so trust me or don't trust me, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm done with caring about what haters think of me. I'm just doing my thing now. And enjoy the show. Yeah, and, uh, and honestly, yes, for sure. There's gonna be some business stuff, but realistically, we need like a fucking five minute video. It'd be cool to take some pictures. And like I said, just cause we're not stressed about money in any way, shape or form whatsoever, just come hang out with us. Let's go fucking hit some waterfalls, hit a beach, let's go surfing, let's go trap. Sometimes maybe all the karmic work we've done and all the things that have happened in my life, I've had a lot of really interesting ups and downs, but let's just say the universe just threw me something that you couldn't even make this shit up. And anyways, James is like one of my best friends, He's probably one of my closest people I've had in my life and vice versa, and we just came, it just all works, I couldn't, I can't make this shit up. Yeah, I was talking with James, Nikki doesn't really like Indonesia right now, so they might come early, so we'll probably be... I don't know, I got a fucking retarded pad here, plus we got the beach and whatnot, so we bounce back and forth. Um, I'm not 100% sure uh, on the dates, but like I said, we're pretty much in vacay, just fucking super safe animals, not worry about anything mode right now, and got real good this week. Like, like just got like real good. Better than good. So better anyways, than good. So yeah, just whenever, whenever you're done your documentary, um, keep in touch, let us know, he'll probably be here sooner or later, um, we'll keep in the loop. And you keep us in the loop, and we'll go from there. But yeah, maybe super cool to connect. Gross. Yeah, it's uh, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm super, super stoked to meet you. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be wicked. I'm actually gonna raise that screen to that uh, that thing. I just don't really want to be having messages between me and James floating around on the internet. Like I know we're not gonna do anything. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. But in the same breath, it's just like four weeks ago, I was in the most toxic situation of my life, and then there was that energy cord that got cut, and then I just realized I went through this whole big just... An energy cord energy that shift. got cut, an like, energy shift. In fucking ten days, my life went from living in lack to the most abundant life I've ever lived, and you know, and I've been doing my morning meditations, like with 16 meditations in a row, and having missed that, they're all about abundance, and all about abundance. good energy, and then it's just like, fucking every, everywhere I turn, it's like just abundance, 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 and it's just like, like it's not even stopping, it's like, it's almost too abundant, it's, too abundant. Like, it's almost too abundant, fuck, is life good, but anyways, just have a wonderful night, I know you're busy, let's, uh, let's keep in touch. Oh my god, oh my god, okay, so the question is, how could I say no to something that is abundant, 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 too abundant? I flew to Panama at the request of Randy, at the very aggressive, convincing request of this guy Randy that I had never met before. He was basically very enthusiastically asked to come film a bigger than big, abundant, huge, big awesome project where everyone's going to get rich by the end of February and told if you hang with our core group you're never going to have to worry about money again from now until the end of time and that there's funding upon funding upon funding we have 10k in this wallet 30k in this wallet we got this drop from James for, for like this investment money and money is not an issue okay so I'm a struggling vegan filmmaker in Puerto Rico working on a documentary about Puerto Rican poets. Um, my life is kind of going along and I wasn't really wanting to pick up and, and take on a new project. But the project I'm working on wasn't paying very well and I'm getting low on money so I was like, okay, you know, um, tell me about the project, Randy. 
and he said he could not tell me over the phone, but once we get in person, we're going to talk about it. But trust me, it's big, it's big. You should be here yesterday. James is on his way with Nikki. Um, we're going to start right away. I'm perfect for their crew. And I, I, I wasn't offered even to get my flight taken care of, but I made a stupid move, and I should know by now that if you don't have a contract and you don't have your flight paid for, it's probably not an actual legitimate thing, or they don't have the funding that they say they do. But I bought my flight. It's over $300 one-way ticket, and then I had to buy a second ticket back at the airport because they won't let you travel without a second ticket. So I'm $700 in at this point. This is 10 days ago. But I am promise this is big. I don't know James Aspie or Nikki all that well. I really don't follow vegan activists that much because I'm already vegan myself and basically I'm just like working on my own stuff. So I had met James one time with the guys from Plant Based News at the UK Veg Veg Out or Camp Out, UK Veg Camp Out or something like a year and a half ago and we had all had to share a car together to get to where we were going. So I had just known him from there. I, I, my recollection was not like where he was particularly like friendly or nice or anything, but I mean we're all just like crammed in a car. So it was like probably a 10 minute drive. I don't have the emotional uh, connection to James e even on anywhere near what Randy does. Like Randy is man crushing on this guy James super super hard. I know this because he's been talking about him every single time we chatted like through through uh, voice messenger on, on Facebook or on the phone. So Randy basically in my opinion and this is like gonna be my opinion this video and what I've observed Randy wants to be like James. Okay so all right, I'm going to take you back to the beginning and tell you the entire story of what happened. I was fired yesterday. No, the day before. And I, w I was basically let go after 11 days. The video project, which I'm going to tell you about, that I was hired for never happened. I was paid very little. I'll get into that later. Actually, half of what I asked for, and that was a fraction of the proposal I put together after I got here, though, because I was stupid in not having the proposal signed off on when I left. So, lesson learned. Uh, I wanted to share this video because people are talking about James and Nikki and some things that happened with this puppy that they tried to rescue with his words. Um, using Holocaust and he's like been in the news lately and some people are, are kind of pissed off about the type of person he is and what he's been doing. I, I knew a little bit of this like when I when I accepted the job <clears throat> I did kind of a quick Google search I went to his Facebook and I didn't dig into it in any way because I'm the kind of person that I want to give people the benefit of the doubt. I, I saw like some headlines and I remembered about the, about the puppy and I remembered um, uh, maybe like six months ago I tried to rescue a kitten that was abandoned by its mother and I took it to the vet and I did everything I could do and it died and it was so upsetting and so like I was just associating what happened with the dogs in Bali with like that situation so I immediately was just like oh I'm sure as a, like as vegan activists they're trying their hardest in this situation so like I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and then as far as like the term holocaust I could understand how people are really mad about that, but I I just kind of let, let it I let it like kind of go in my mind as not something I needed to be too concerned about when working with them because um, maybe that's like how he wants to articulate what's happening to the animals. And I've seen I have been following a cancel culture for a long time. I've made prior videos about comedians getting canceled. So my gut reaction is sort of to just like, to just like err on the side of like, like feeling sorry for the people that are getting canceled versus the ones that are getting offended. And I'm, I'm saying I could have a blind spot there and that might not be the best way to approach it. But in my mind, this is where I was coming from. I wasn't like, like looking at them with a eagle, eagle eye 
kind of really digging deep into the types of people they are or like should I go do I want to be working for this couple I was just kind of going into it like cool okay it's going to be a trip to to Panama I've never been there before I'll get to like hang out with an activist and his wife and I'm sure she's really cool Randy didn't seem all that bad although I didn't ever go to his Facebook and look at actual posts and pictures other than a quick like scan because I, I didn't want to judge him either. I don't like to go to people's Facebook page and, if they, and look at like the things they post and make a judgment on who I think they are because I understand for my own self, I don't want people doing that to me. So like if I'm chatting with somebody online, I'm, I'm doing it through phone, through video chat, or through text messages that are specific to me. So that's just sort of like the approach I had been taking with people on, on social media when I'm getting to know them. Okay, so I'm going to take you back to the beginning. Because, I, you know, there's a lot going on in this story. And I don't want to leave out any of the nuances like the fact that I'm here hired for this job because I'm a cute girl that Randy had a crush on. Okay, I mean, it's just like... And if he's going to be tooling around Panama with his man crush James and his wife, he needs a prop to not just be a third wheel. And a prop that's also a filmmaker that he's been chatting up for a while is not the worst idea. So I, I want to be clear about that. If I was like a dude, I, I wouldn't have gotten myself into this situation. And I'm trying to like use these situations so I learn myself not to get into them again. I met Randy first online on June 13th, 2020, and he says to me, he, he hits me up, you're a filmmaker, hey that's awesome, just want to say hi and nice to connect, glad to see I'm not the only one getting shit on by vegans. This was this summer, it was right around the time like there's a lot of like attacking going on online politically, and we had just like some of the vegans got caught up in some online like hate toward each other. It was a charged time for everybody. So he had hit me up and then he starts sending me these messages of this resort that he's staying in, apparently through the pandemic, that his friend zone called Show Pony. So he's showing me this bird that they had rescued or had like flown in and they were caring for. We'll have to get old Tukey the Toucan in here. Hey Tukey. Hey. <laughs> he says my everyday life is like a dream life grew up as a hunter and a trapper and then was a meat-eating bodybuilder then turned vegan overnight after spending a few days with james aspie and turned my life mission into animal rights so he said after um after a really hard time he went on a silent meditation i believe he had been on that with james and after three of those, gave up everything I own and now work internationally and own only a backpack and travel to so many countries fighting for animal rights and to show a vegan minimalistic life. So I'm like, huh, okay, this, wow, that guy sounds really cool. So I'm, I'm like continuing the chat because, you know, who wouldn't like what you're hearing? He said, growing up killing all my own food, I don't judge or push the issue. I show that I am almost 40. He's almost 40, so he's close to my age. And 200 pounds of lean muscle and 4.5 years vegan and positive life and non-hate to meat eaters gives me such a bad name because I don't hate. I'm like, oh, okay, so we've got muscle. He, he's like not a hatey type person. And then... I sa he says, do you know James Aspie? And then there's a series, let's see what this is. And yeah, I know with uh, James Aspie, he's like a good buddy. I'm actually just talking to him right now. Him and I, like, I met him three years ago, and yeah, we spent like three days together, staying the same thing, I made a breakfast, drove him around, and yeah, we just remained like fucking really good friends. I'm like literally just talking with him right now. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, yeah, it's neat, uh, it's this whole vegan lifestyle thing has opened up so many different doors and windows and uh, I, I've really found my life purpose to fight for the innocent but also when I see injustice like you're talking about child trafficking and pedophilia and you're talking about 
you know, media. Okay, so he met James three years ago. They did a silent retreat. He drove him around for three days, and he's his best friend now. I didn't know much about him other than this, like, really positive facade he was giving me, and he was sending me pictures of this resort he's staying at. And then there's this one video of him in the gym, but he's kind of far away. With seeds of Dharma. I have a passion for vegan cooking and I created a business plan to start a non-profit vegan food company that runs on volunteer basis and all the profits go to run a vegan animal sanctuary. And in turn, I provide shelter, meals, a wellness center for meditation and a yoga gym. It's called Seeds of Dharma. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, this guy might be my soulmate, you know? So, sweet dreams, a big hug for you. That's what friends are for, right? Be there in times of need, even if it's just an ear or a hug. In this case, a virtual hug. When I base my life on compassion, I really mean it. And I, even th though I work out, even though I work out, I feel like my heart is the biggest muscle I have. <laughs> oh my God. Feel free to roast me right now. And then he sends more pictures. This is like a landscape of Panama. I'll bring you here if you make it this way to Panama. It's known for its coffee beans in the hills. Then there's a kale and fruit popsicle. I mean, if you can't like get my attention with a kale popsicle. How's your day? I honestly like forgot all of this. I don't know why I forget things. We'd have so many laughs together. And I said, I love how your brain works. And he goes, F, I wish you were here. How's your weekend? He sends me a picture of a waterfall. A few more hours, I can fall asleep alone again, not getting human affection. Ha ha ha. Oh my god, I know the song Despacito, I used to strip to that, that was right when I pulled my dick out! Anyways, sorry. Oh. <laughs> no, it actually was one of the places where I took my belt off, actually. But anyways, um, yeah, I know that. Uh, yeah, I'm fucking wounded. We just, well, you know, Ooh, we're man. close enough to Columbia, I'm sure you understand what party... Okay, so, that was the best part of stripping is the full Monty. And then I said, I wonder if I would like you. He says, sorry if that's TMI. What do you mean by that? I think we would get along amazing. I'm very open and real and unconventional. Hmm. I said, I meant that as a curious question to myself that I said out loud to you. I've been single for almost 12 years because I don't like anybody, so I was genuinely curious if I would like you. Nothing against you, of course. I'm sure you're amazing. So at this point, like... He is chatting me up in a way that on paper he seems great, but I have no idea. I don't know if I like somebody until I meet them, and I usually don't like them. <laughs> um, how I am and how I look is very different. So I think he's saying, like, I look like a bro Muslim man, but I'm really like a soft kitten. So I'm like, oh. Um, and then I said, it's hard to see how you get along with somebody over the Internet. And he says, oh, isn't that the truth? And I said, that's why I asked the question. It's almost impossible to see if you get along with somebody b without being in person. And then he says, and then sex plays a role to that connection, isn't there, that's, isn't there, that's a problem. I've made the best chick friends, but there's no connection beyond friends, and that's amazing. But in a partner, it's a thing, I mean, I don't know. So we're just chat chatting, he says, uh, F, I miss sex. Um... And then he starts, like, kind of sharing too much. Um, then we're just talking. He says, everyone went to bed, and I have a crazy sex drive going to waste. <sighs> this got a little bit, like, creepy, and I'm, like, part of these creepy messages. I'm kind of, like, flirting with him right now. Regardless of what happens, we should meet and have an amazing time. I'll show you Panama. I've forgotten all this stuff. And now he says again, fuck now I'm back at the resort and all alone. I'm realizing how crazy we are in isolation. He sends some pictures. Every, I'm happy you text. Can I call you? What's your plan today? How's filming going? Then again, the next day, hope you have a kick-ass day. 
and then he keeps sending me stuff. I think I'm sort of like losing a little interest at this time because it's just like lots of stuff from him and then like less from me just because he's like kind of coming on a little bit too strong. And then he says, I always bring a tripod to all my events to animal rights or record at super great places. I use it to hold while I have video phone sex. I use that for more than anything, gets better angles. How have you been? And then I'm like, I'm good. I've just been trying not to chat so much, honestly. Online chatting bores me. Um, I like, I'm like, I'm not going to see this guy. Why? And he's like kind of being weird about like talking about sex so much. He's like, yeah, I'd rather meet you in real life too. Um, and then I said, and then he had revealed to me around this time that he was getting back with his ex or something. And I was like, I don't chat with guys with girlfriends, but once that's worked out in your life, let me know. And then we just lose touch. There's a few little messages from him, like a big hug for you, more just him. Yeah, and then, okay, and then we jump to December 20th. Okay, so December 20th, this is six months later. He says, hey Maggie, so the other day I had a massive blowout. I was off to the airport, I reached out. She and the fact is she flew to another country and I and started a life and we got kittens and he basically is telling me he's like have a wonderful year but this is where I need to sign off and make shit right so he basically tells me he's not going to be chatting me up anymore even though the last time I talked to him was July 7th okay so he'd sent me a big hug on July 7th and then sent me, I'll basically said I need to make it right he says my sexy beach pics need to be only with her referring to his girlfriend and I'm just like at this time like okay and then December 22nd he says well crazy bitch blocked you but she is gone so apparently like I got blocked by the girlfriend two days later he's back again and I'm like, WTF, I have no idea. He's like telling me some personal stuff. And then it's all him, okay? Calls me, what are you doing? How's lockdown going? Got to say, I sure love being in Latin America. And then he's like, hey. And then again on January 18th, hey. Here's where we're, gonna, here's where we're talking. Hey, my good buddy, my uber good buddy, uber with a capital U, my uber good buddy, James Aspie and I are working on a project. He may be here for a couple of weeks and we're going to chill and shop, shop talk. We might need a videographer and somebody to film. Bottom line is if you're, if you're down to come kick it, the invite is here and he's one of my closest buddies and now we're like, F, let's kick it and jingle, hike and chill. Just hope you're well, just a thought. And I, I give a face like, oh, like a wild face. Yeah, it's 20 hours a day we work together on this. And it's big, Maggie, like big, big. And thought maybe you want to come kick it with us here. Your call, but you seem cool as fuck. And we could use you and your skills. We're wor Okay, we're working with a green energy company started by Shell, backed by Tesla and Warren Buffett. It's green energy meets vegan compassion. Oh, green energy meets vegan compassion. That sounds really good. It's huge with like 10 E's. I'm his fund manager and we're killing it. It's pretty badass. I'm into this at this point. Some of you guys are probably rolling your eyes at me and like, why is she kind of excited about this? But like, I don't know anything that's going on with the Aspies. I don't even know anything about Randy. I knew the weirdest with his girlfriend, but like now he's talking. Now he's like providing something. Oh, we're going to do a video job with James Aspie. Like he's like semi-famous in vegan circles and it's green energy. It sounded like progressive and new. And then I said like, what do you want me to do? I'm finishing up a project here, but I need about a month to finish it up. He says, I'll send you a copy of the company we're teamed with. I will talk to the CEO and James tomorrow for a video call. And then he starts talking with his vegan prince billionaire. We have a meeting to line up a beautiful partnership. James turned him vegan. And we talked green energy. James had him frothing at the mouth to help. 
I've been working since 1 a.m. And around a month would be ideal. Come kick it, take some videos, a bit of editing, and we, we send to the company and we change the world. And he sends me like this white paper on energy web. And I'm like, I don't even understand what the hell this is. Like, I'm trying to read about energy web. I'm trying to learn about Bitcoin and blockchain, and I have no idea. And he says, we're all in on crypto, and he's the man, and I help the money management end, LOL. And then he sends me this picture of his room where he, there's a bunch of charts. He says, I watch charts, not TV. And I said, okay, I'm down, but let's make it official. Like, send me a proposal with the dates you want, and, like, let's keep it business. And then he says, yeah, I'll keep you posted as I know when flights and whatnot. But, yeah, I'm making James mental money and moves right now. Ha, ha, ha. You'll love it here. Blow your mind. We're killing it in all caps. And wait till you see what we're going to do with this project. I think you're really going to see value in what we're working toward. I know you hate texting. Give me a buzz. James is, like, one of my best friends. He's probably one of my closest people I've had in my life. And vice versa. And we just came. It just all works. I couldn't... I can't make this shit up, but it's it up. fucking beautiful. <laughs> and when this, it'd be super cool to hang out with you and just come kick it on a beach. Um, okay, he says, now I helped him negotiate a deal and a nice $3,000 thank you gift just to help me line up a deal. Life got abundant as fuck. All caps, extra case. Wild to think of the epic things the future holds. Not a bad day and didn't even put pants on. Gross. Fucking ten days, my life went from living in lack to the most abundant life I've ever lived. And, you know, and I've been doing my morning meditations, like with fifteen meditations in a row, and having missed that. They're all about abundance and all about abundance. Just good energy, and then it's just like fucking every everywhere I turn, it's like just abundance, 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 and it's just like it's not even stopping. It's like it's almost too abundant. It's almost too abundant. Like, it's almost too abundant. Fuck, is life good? But anyways, just have a wonderful night. I know you're busy. Let's uh, let's keep in touch. Oh my god. I'm fresh off Randy's messages. 16 days of meditation. Oh my God. And he starts sending me messages about the funding that they have. Okay? Let's go with the flow. We're vibing so high right now. Let's just say be in our circle and money will never ever be a worry from here until the end of time. And I'm like, money will never be a worry? Are you kidding me? Okay, maybe this is something, you know, I actually need to do. Absolutely, and yeah, like, I can't even, can't even make this up. I went through, I was in a real dark place, too, and like I said, once that energy cord got cut, the world changed, and yeah, like, energy cord um, got cut. I, 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 I kind of want to, I know, it's ridiculous. It's just, <laughs> oh, life it just got real fucking cool. Like, real cool. I don't know. I'm, it, I'm speechless. It just, it, it, it's just like, it's, it's everything so overwhelming in such a positive, loving, flowing, caring, natural way. It is just like this thing that James and I, this relationship between James and I, this connection that him and I, and what we have in, in store for the future of the planet, the world, for the energy systems, for the animals, is beyond beautiful. And I'll tell you in real life, but it's, it's crazier than you would think. I am so embarrassed looking back at this. Okay. Then he sends me a few charts. I don't know. Oh, there's this one. This one that's going, see that? It's going straight up. Okay. So this must be the source of abundance from the universe for the planet. And then he shows me this one zoomed out. Must be that source of abundance there, huh? I wonder what day that happened on. So if you look at it, it's like, you can see it on the bottom, that little one. Okay. So I have no idea what this means at this point. Kind of heard of cryptocurrency. And then he says, flow. And he sent a few screenshots. Then he says, abundant as fuck. With one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Ks. Maggie with the G's, A's, and I's, and E's just long. Ha 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 ha. Morning, LOL. I have an offer for you, but voice me once you're awake. Good morning, Maggie. Anyways, it's uh, like 5 in the morning here. Um, can you give me a call when you get up? There's a bit of a change in plans, but I, uh, 
I got a friend talking to a billionaire right now that we might need to fast track something. So we're looking at getting funding, some good funding to make sure. So I'm not sure what's going on. But anyways, just um, just give me a call when you get up and we need to chat because if I can get some big dollar funding basically for you to make it very, very financially incentivized to come a little bit earlier and we can fast track something, um, it would definitely help you out. It would help us yeah. out. It would help the project out. Um, and I'm not sure what timeline or deadline or whatnot, but if we uh, made it financially worth it for you, um, we can talk. But anyways, just hope you're right as well and give me a call when you wake up. <laughs> oh, cheers. Okay, 20 minutes later, I get another message. All right, hey Maggie. Um, good morning again. I've uh, I've secured some funding um, for this thing, so let me like make sure just just wake up, have coffee, do your thing. I got a few things I need to do and people I need to contact here, but I want to find out what you would charge. But like I said, I uh, I have outside investment funding for this, so I'm not sure. Like I said, you know, we're talking about abundance and money, abundance and, uh, and money. I might be able to throw a nice chunk your way to at least help things out. Well. I, I don't know, just, just give me a call when you wake up. Hope you're safe as well. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so he might be able to throw a nice chunk my way. And then he says, plus, he he unsent a few messages. He says, plus, I have another 30000 in another wallet. So I'm thinking, okay, this is well-funded. And I said, okay, give me a minute. I can call you. And he says, it's pretty personal, but I wanted to say, shit got cool with lots of emojis, lots of capital letters, lots of extra letters. Real fucking cool. Lots of letters, extra letters. Hi. Okay, and I was like, just a sec, I'll wait, and then we called. He sends me some screenshots of some like group chat called Team Green. There's like five people in it, and um, his boy James is one of them, just like clap, clap, clapping on things people say. And then he says... Um, I'm so excited for this year. Maggie, this could change the world for real. The world works in crazy ways, Maggie, and we maybe were meant to, you maybe were meant to steamroll this with us. And then I said, this is going to put me in. I bought a flight. Okay, I'm like, okay. After all this, I bought a flight on my own money. And it puts me in at 8 o'clock on Thursday. And I said, is that too soon? He says, not soon enough. No. Ha, 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 ha. And I was like, it's the only nonstop one I could get. Um, it's $300. He says, I always had a gut feeling I was talking to you for a reason. And yes, and trust me, you have no cost here, only gain. And then he says, I don't really have a set plan. We're going to go with the flow. Let's just say I'm putting faith in the cosmos for divine time planning, divine path, and helping change the world. And if you all, if you like it here, don't rush back. I'm walking in a bounce in my steps. So much abundance. So much, and we will all share abundance and energy and make 2021 the best year ever. And then we just talk about, like, I said, you want me to get an Uber? He's like, I'd like to come get you. I'll bring you breakfast. Ah, this is an interesting one. Are you ready for this? He sends me a screenshot. 229250 U.S. dollars at 9.84 EWT. Okay. He says, good buffer to start with, lol, ha 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 ha, plus, plus, plus. Your vid, my video, may double that alone. Ah, okay. This is where I might, I, I would say I didn't fully understand what they wanted me to do what doubling, what video this is going to be and what doubling that meant. So I, I might be complacent, not complacent, what do you call it, compliant? I might, I'm part of, I'm part of this project now, okay? And so and anyone watching this would say, Maggie, you kind of knew what you were getting into because he gave you the number and he actually said your video might double this. So now we know that the mission is to make a video that goes out to James followers about Energy Web, get them to buy in, get that number to go hiking up. He calls them like the green penises or something. I think he had a name for it when it just like shoots up. And then once you go up, you can diversify in less like 
volatile up and down tokens or you can cash out. Okay, so I still went. Your voice is so kind. No money issue again. I always felt like you had a great soul. I can hardly contain myself. This whole week has changed the course of my life. Green heart, sad face, cry face. P.S. I'm bringing my cats with us to the beach, so now I get these pictures of these super cute little cats. They, I rescued them, and they saved me. Um, I love them so much. Just more pictures of cats. I mean, you kind of learned me, and you got kittens, you got beach, you got like vegan activism, and money. Okay? I said yes. I'm a crazy cat man, always have been. Um, it would be a shame to not have you be a part of this. Then he sends me a picture of a, um, a website, Bikini Beach Australia. He says, my neighbor, he, he says he wants to buy me a bikini when I'm here and that maybe we can make a crypto. Let's see what he actually says. Yo, yo, anyways, I just wanted to, uh, I think of this website, and it's a really good friend of mine, she lives in the building, she's got a swimwear company, and we're going to be hanging out at the beach, and I just thought I would like to support a friend of mine's business, and I thought maybe if you would like uh, some type of swimwear that's from her company, I would buy you whatever you want, so I sent you the site, if you pick something that you like, I'll buy it, which would help support her business, and a uh, gift to you, so, yeah. Never got that. So I look at the website, I'm like, oh, I like these bikinis, let's see what else he says. And she's going to be coming out to the resort with us, just to like hang out, and she's going to bring a bunch of uh, swimsuits, and wanted to like get some pictures, and just actually have a chat with you, and see if um, she can maybe use your talents, your skills, and I could even pay, it's so okay. that you could be maybe her, like... Content creator, content user creator. talents, and I want to help you out. Like, I really want to help you in any way that I can. So, yeah. So he tells me he's got this friend who has a bikini brand and that he can pay me to create content for her. I had sent him three bikinis that I liked, and he says, I'll buy you all three as a thank you. And then he says, I have a plan, big money for you. I have an amazing business idea, and it would be something that um, you and her could totally run with, and considering I have my fingers, like, locked into some pretty amazing connections in crypto, I think you guys should do, like, sexy crypto company logo bikinis, and you do the content. She takes her current designs and just puts, like, a crypto coin logo, crypto and that uh, promotes logo, the bikini company line. for marketing material for them. Like, nobody's using beautiful women for crypto. Nobody's using beautiful women for crypto, and it's big money for me. And I think it'd be a great business idea, and I'm, like, way too fucking busy, but I can help set it up, and YouTube could run and uh, just absolutely kill it, but use my connections and uh, just have a girl-girl company, but I'll do everything I can to help. I'm just sending these to her because she's going to think this is fucking hilarious. And um, most people in the crypto world are just these fucking computer nerds sitting there just like jerking off to porn anyway. So if I could go and take a bikini company and I could market to a new project as a way to basically get more engagement with a, the attention to the coin, regardless of the fundamentals or the technical aspect, people at least look at it because of the women. And I can get big, big fucking money to uh, invest into that. Like, I literally just got 10 grand for nothing today. So, to fund this project for both of you, I would love, love to see you girls set this up and just crush it. Like, I'm really fucking, really, really excited to meet you. And, uh, yeah, I'd love to help, help you just crush it in life. To be honest, like, one of the sexiest things to me is seeing a woman in business just killing it so mm -hmm. I know I just I, I think people that have drive and passion and commitment I think that's uh, noble and noble. I know I can absolutely make it happen I could make you uber fucking rich with your current skills and my connections like I'm just rethinking these decisions I have a good feeling about this night night more pictures of the cat more pictures of the sunrise on his balcony um, more pictures of the balcony. Got a really, 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 really nice place. LOL.
I should have actually known the red flags just by the amount of LOLs, emojis, and long ass words. Um, then he said it's a picture of the balcony that's all ours. Just wait till you see it in real life. <clears throat> then he sends me this list of our itinerary. He says um, 13 nights to start, and he tells me just villas, villas, bouquetse. I have no idea what this even means. And let's see, I said, what does this even mean? Good morning. Um, okay, so the first three days we're here, and then we're going to go to the beach for a couple of days, and then we're going to go to Boquete to an animal sanctuary with a bunch of, there's tons of animals, so we're going to stay there, and then we're going to go back to the beach, and then we're just going to organically figure a plan out. So anyways, we have a few different places to go, but we're going to go and get to, to see different places, right? So I just wanted to let you know kind of that we're going to be bouncing around a little bit. So, anyways, are you excited? Because I am. I kind of want to take us out to uh, Mona Feliz as well. It's like there's no internet, there's no power. It's like an hour and okay, a half. Okay, so he's talking about he wants to go to a monkey sanctuary. I want you to have an amazing Panama trip. Like, I want you to see so many different things. I want you to experience different things. I want you to see what Panama has to offer. Um, I kind of want you to like the country, so then you kind of want to, don't want to leave. Just saying. Maybe, and then he like, he sends these voicemails and then he follows it up with text messages that actually say the same thing in the voicemail. He's like, maybe with 10 E's you'll like it, ha ha. Maybe we just travel, James and I have big plans. I know what to do, who to talk to, where to go to make it like the best. So yeah, you're gonna get like the most fucking epic tour guide ever. Um, just deadly waterfalls, deadly hikes, just deadly everything, kind of fucking really amazing actually so yeah I'm just going with the flow but I can't believe you're going to actually be here tomorrow like legit be here I mean all of the all of the signs point to total 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 but I didn't see them because I just saw dollar signs and I saw that uh, I don't know anything about this guy and the way that he appears on social media makes him sound and look like he's um a decent guy, even though looking back at these messages, I see that I was like missing a lot of stuff, like the the overexcitement, the huge promises, like too good to be true. He's like, I wonder if we're going to get along in real life. You said you liked only like four guys that seem to check the boxes. We actually get to see if we like each other. Yes, this is business, but I'm not going to lie. I hope that we really get along and we click on all levels. He says, honestly, I'll have a million by the end of this year, but I could do it quicker with the right woman beside me. At least we always have the animals, the planet, and that a common moral base to build off of. Also, Maggie, YouTube channel, and um, where I teach people how to uh, do technical analysis, but I want to talk about meditation, too. Like, I can pop out the videos quick. But I just can't edit them super quick. And it's not even a guy's got to edit them. A guy's pretty much just got to clip them, add a little bit of sound, a little bit of text, and then set it. So, like, I don't know. I'm just fucking super excited for the business things that we can do together to create. Like, I'm, I'm just super pumped about just everything that's going on. So, just, you're supposed to be here yesterday. I'm okay with you not being here today. But you better be here tomorrow. Because let's go kick some ass in life. Then he sends this picture of like a leg and the cat, and I'm totally grossed out by now. I don't want to see some dude's hairy thighs. Let's see what he says. More voicemails. This uh, may sound like a silly question. Do you, do you like do you watch TV? Like you're like a big TV person. I'm like not really a TV. I haven't even turned the TV on other than to draw charts at, um, in weeks. Like I, it's. I don't, I'm just not really a big TV person. I'm not really sure if you are, but um, if you're more of like a book reader chiller, that's like totally up my alley. Just think, Maggie, in 12 hours, <coughs> you are going to be here. So, yeah, in 12 hours. That's going to be awesome. Um, super looking forward to this. I don't answer that. I'm going to hit the sack soon. Can you give me a buzz back? Another voicemail. Okay, so I'm going to uh, hit the sack right now. i got my lights out. Um, I'm probably going to get up really early. Get everything off nice, ready, and tidy. And, um, yeah, so just, uh, just 
team call when you get up because you have to go to the airport early. And also, um, yeah, I'll just talk to you in the morning. But, okay, have a wonderful night. Ugh. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing you. And I had this feeling that I shouldn't do it. I... I tried to cancel the night before. I actually called. I had a plane flight for like the next day. And I even told my friend that I was at dinner with, I was like, I don't feel good about this. And she said, you know, you have to go with your gut. So I called up and I was put on hold with with the airline for a little bit. And then I thought, you know, he's so enthusiastic. He so wants to meet me. It could be a good opportunity. I feel weird about this, but... I'm gonna. I'm just gonna give it a shot because I don't want to let him down. And he said, like he was like, I need you here yesterday. So I have a kind heart, Maggie, for all beings. I do act and I do act the way I speak on Facebook. You'll have to see when we hang out that I have a really kind vibe and soul. You'll see. Prayer hands. Just a video called James. He's trying with all caps to fly out tomorrow at the latest. And he says, sorry for standing you up. So at this point, I bought my tickets. I was, I was practically headed to the airport. And he says, James had to reschedule his flight. I'm like, oh, great. So I'm going to this foreign place. And now I'm going to be hanging out with a guy that I'm a little sketched out by. But I'm just, like, curious about the project. And he doesn't seem too awful. Although the couple pictures that I saw made me like a little weirded out, but I'm going against my gut feeling, and now the talent that we're supposed to be filming this project for isn't even coming, and we don't know when he's coming. So I'm like, okay. Um, then, then I'm at the airport. By this time at the airport, I'm like, dude, I have to buy a plane ticket back. This is getting expensive. He says, of course, I can reimburse you. I can 100% cover this. Um, and I said, just PayPal me. I just kind of wanted the money or Venmo. I wanted it in my account. You know, if it was me bringing somebody over and they're already doing it on their own expense. He says, can we deal with this when you're here? And I think that was the biggest first red flag because I was like, okay, so you don't like have a Venmo with your big money in it that you've been talking. You can't just like whip me over cost at this point I wasn't even asking for both flights because we hadn't talked to the proposal yet I was just like hey cover my second flight that I just had to buy so he um, sends me his address and then sends me a picture of his coffee that he's a coffee bean and then I'm at the airport waiting on my COVID test which cost me $50 I was negative um, then he sends me um, a text message that says, I'm wearing a shirt that's the truest shirt ever. And it says, world's sexiest vegan. Oh, God. And then he sends me a picture of the coffee he has for me. And then I tell him what I'm wearing. He says he has a chocolate banana protein shake for me. I'm getting off of the... Oh. And this is when the message is there stopped. And then I got blocked. And I'm going to tell you that story. Uh, it's going to be sick. How's that? And there's not even any, um, like, there's nothing for surfing, eh? Like, not even catch a fucking. You'd have gone to, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, what's cracking, everybody? How you doing? So I'm here with my homie Randy. Yo, what yo. up, big dog? Yo. Randy started getting very excited, um, and I was like, what the hell, what's going on, bro? He's like, come down here, come down here. Anyway, so Randy's the chart, man. I have no idea what all this stuff means, but Randy's very good at this. It's like another language to me. Anyway, why don't you um, tell everybody what's happened since the video I posted yesterday. Okay, so anyways, when we posted the video, the price was hanging around uh, the mid $8. This morning, it went down to about eight ten, and then right now, we went from actually eight nineteen all the way to a high of eight nine ninety. So about nineteen percent um, in the last hour. So Whoa. yeah, anyways, so that's not bad. So if you would have got into this, well. and if anyone got in, you just made nineteen percent in one hour. And you guys, this is time sensitive. This is a very good, fundamentally strong project. This is good for the planet. This is good for helping everybody out. You guys, if more vegans have more money, we can help out fuel more animal rights visions, sanctuaries, everything you guys. This isn't mm -hmm. just a, this isn't just a get in, get out thing. This is a long term you guys. Let's help the planet. Let's heal. Let's decarbonize the planet. 
fundamentally strong and you guys this is just getting started this, yeah, this is one this, day almost 20 percent. yeah i'm gonna tell you right now and obviously is, obviously you go up and down but i'm just saying that if if anyone um watched my video yesterday and decided to buy into ewt they would have made 20 percent more on their investment which is and ewt at under day. ten dollars is going to be a thing of the past there's going to be a long time we're going to look back and people are going to be like i can't believe i got it at ten dollars yeah. i'm just telling you I we know. think not this isn't financial advice it's not financial advice but <laughs> it's I just a couple of guys paying attention to the charts <laughs> All right, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you all. Um, and yeah, that's it. Peace. Thanks for letting us know, Randy. You, you. <laughs>